this is where we should be with our shoe right now. Uh, as you know, all the panels are in place, everything's fitted up pretty tightly. And now it's time to go ahead and add some stitches to this. And I'm going to add stitches to almost every panel here. The, uh, we'll start off with the saddle um, and we'll do the, let's see, eye stays, this whole vamp toe cap area. And I'm even gonna add stitches to the tongue as well. So let's start off with this guy right here. So with that selected, actually, let's go to item mode, select this guy and hit shift H to hide everything that we don't need. That just kind of unclutters your screen. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of polygons that I'm really not using here just to, uh, just to kind of stay a little more efficient. Okay. So here we are and, uh, shift tab again. <clears throat> and what I want to do on this uh, particular panel, I want to add, a little groove or a trough that the uh, stitches will sit in. And that's pretty common if you have something that's uh, kind of leathery or kind of a thick panel, a thick padded uh, sort of panel. So I'm going to need to add an edge here that, that's gonna create that trough. That edge will also act as a, a guide for the stitches. So it has a kind of a twofold. Uh, purpose here. So how do I do that? Now I could go to the edge tool here and go to add loop and click on that and add loop there, add a loop across here, add a loop there, but that's a little more time consuming and tedious and requires a bit more work than I want to do. So I'm just going to select all these edges here. I'll go to loop and I'm going to over select here and then I'll just get rid of what I don't need. All right, so now with those selected, what I'll do is I'll go over to the edit toolbar and go to loop slice. And that's gonna slice through more things than I want it to, as you can see here. But if I go to the tool properties and go to slice selected, it's only gonna slice through the selected polygons. And I think that's gonna work for me, all right. Now, if I go over to edges, select edges, you can see I have a nice edge uh, to work with there. So I went around and did a little bit of an edge sliding here and there, just to add a little breathing room between some of these edges that were kind of uh, pushed tightly together. As a side note, it's always a good idea to run a mesh cleanup on your model with everything selected or nothing selected either way. And just to make sure that there are no strange artifacts going on and, you know, uh, things that'll mess you up later on. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this edge first. Let's just do one at a time here. Uh, and that goes all the way around. Again, this might be a little bit tight up here, but we'll deal with that. Uh, so I'm going to hit the B key to do a bevel on this. And uh, you'll see the gizmo in the screen here, in the center of the screen. Um, I'm going to grab the red handle and just pull it out just the tiniest bit, maybe about 500 UMs. I think that's a half a millimeter. And uh, yeah, looks good right there too. All right, let's do the other one. I believe it's this guy right here. Same here, bevel. Pull the red handle. Maybe right about there. 600, whatever. All right, with that already selected, uh, let's jump over to the deform. Go to the push tool. Click in the viewport and then just pull that in just the tiniest bit. Same with this one. Let's do the push. And right about there. It doesn't have to be very much. The littlest bit actually reads really well. Now let's go ahead and add our stitching to the saddle. All we have to do now is just go ahead and select the edges. Oops, right there. And pull down the shift and Double click on that edge to select that entire loop. And we'll go over to the stitch mesh. It brings up our requester. And we go to uh, curve source mesh and we're going to use an existing selected edge. It's procedural. Click OK. 
and select a, a stitch that you want. I'll just select this first one here, it's fine. There we are. It's just that simple. Now, let's move on to the other panels.